I always felt like I was never measuring up. I was never measuring up to my siblings or never measuring up to people around me because I was comparing myself to other people. And so therefore I felt inadequate and rejected in, you know, my brother and my sister and constantly friends. And I had felt rejected my whole life. And that feeling of rejection never went away. I mean, my MO is running. Like, times get hard, I run. I don't want the inconvenience. I don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to, I just want it to go away. So I run. I was involved with my old boss and got tied up in a really messy affair with a divorce and I ran, ran to Florida. I was running from just that feeling of never being good enough. I'd put myself constantly in situation after situation to where I just couldn't do anymore. Whenever I lived in Florida, I also had gotten in trouble for drinking and driving and had to sit in jail for 30 hours. And so I was sitting there and just felt like I was hiding. I didn't call my parents to tell them until way after the fact. I didn't call anyone realistically that could have actually helped me. I called people that were a part of my life that really were just fueling a sense of unhappiness that I realized I ended up having. And so whenever I think about the word, you know, shame is it's sitting there on the mat in jail, just bawling, just hiding and realizing that I had constantly made decision after decision after decision to just put me somewhere where I had nowhere else to go. I was tired of running and tired of just always being something for someone else and running towards something that gave me no worth and gave me no value. And so then I moved in with Larson and Matt, my brother-in-law and sister, and started counseling and um, started going to church with them on Sundays to Woodstock. And we started going to MP nights together. Whenever I first started coming to MP Nights, it was very much I came in and felt welcome. Everyone was friendly and said hello and had a smile on their face. And one Sunday at nights, they asked for volunteers to serve. And I initially signed up and then kind of panicked because I didn't think that I would be accepted because of things that had happened. And so I remember sending that email, terrified, waiting and remember getting the email and bawling the response of just thank you thank you for your honesty thank you for um feeling open to share that and then end up meeting and we had a conversation and again she said thank you and since then you know i've been serving in Wombland, but it took a lot for me to feel that acceptance Thinking about the night that I walked into MP Nights and listening to Clay speak, he mentioned how you can run from or you can be redeemed. And I had ran for so long and constantly felt as I never could run fast enough or I never could run far enough. And everything that I would prayed so hard to go away and run from, God was gonna use that for a positive. I was redeemed, I was forgiven. And that's when I surrendered everything and said, I'm done, I'm done running. I'm, and that's when I put my whole faith in Jesus. 
I went to El Salvador in January of this year, a Global X trip, which is our mission organization through North Point. And just thinking about standing in the chapel once I was over there at La Casa de Mi Padre, we are seeing Amazing Grace. And I was so overwhelmed with joy and the grace that I had been shown. Just felt that presence and just where he said, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you, and I'm not letting you go. So much grace has been shown to me that I am now able to show that to other people in serving in all environments and serving in Wombaland and MP Nights and Global X and even the conversations I'm having with my coworkers. My life is truly changing. Like I am so full of life and so full, just it's seeping into every aspect, every conversation to where I want to encourage other people to experience this full life. My name's Elizabeth and I have more life. So it is my joy, my overwhelming honor, and I'm so grateful for you that now I get to baptize you because of your profession of faith, your belief in Jesus and your trusting in him for your salvation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.